You want to see something interesting? Check out this combination square. I love this thing. It's incredibly accurate. I love how smooth that the adjustment knob is. And it's a work of art, like all the Bridge City stuff. I'll link to it below if you want to check it out more closely. But I wanted to talk about how I'm bombarded on a daily basis whenever I get out a tool like this from folks outside America, Liberia, and Myanmar, who tell me how stupid and backwards we are for not adopting the metric system. I do think it's at least a little ironic that so many of their arguments center around calling us arrogant while they're presuming to tell us what the markings should be on our rulers on the other side of the planet from them. And I've poked fun at that in the past. But truthfully, I can see how people who are afraid of fractions might not understand the funny little marks on our combination squares. But it isn't difficult for us. We just have to remember a few simple calculations. An inch is equal to three barley corns, and a yard is the distance, I believe, from nipple to nipple measuring around your torso. Still, I do like the simplicity of a system that can so easily be divided by 10. And I admit, I wouldn't cry if Americans were to join the 7 billion metric users in the world. In fact, we're already well on our way, and that's what this video is about. Have you ever thought about that? You see, in the early days of our republic, Thomas Jefferson lobbied for pretty much anything that had any connection whatsoever to the French Revolution. And one of the first things the French did after storming the Bastille and trimming the king approximately three barley corn shorter was they calculated the distance from the North Pole to the equator along a meridian that just happened to run through Paris. Then they divided that by 10 million because why not? That produced a new unit of measure that they called the meter. Of course, they made an error in the calculation, so the official meter is off by about a quarter of a millimeter. But the math is easier, and if there's one thing I know about the French, it's they hate math. Sadly, though, the efforts to get that metric system implemented in the U.S. didn't work. It's a long story. It involves shipwreck and kidnapping, pirates, murder, real boring stuff. But what's most exciting is that they were able to pass the Metric Act of 1866 and the Metric Conversion Act of 1975. Of course, those and other efforts ultimately failed to stop most Americans from measuring things with our feet. But our government has never needed to pass laws to implement unpopular policy. They just do it behind the scenes, little bits at a time. And that's what they've been doing. Today, all sorts of things in the U.S are already metric, and it's becoming more and more all the time. Think about it. Our money has always been in metric in that it's based on a system of tens. There are ten cents and a dime, ten dimes and a dollar, ten dollars in the average American savings account, and so on. Even the official weight of our coinage is measured in metric grams. Now, while we worry about the devaluation of our money, many of us tend to turn to drinking. And how is that alcohol measured? in milliliters. Likewise, the nutritional labels on all of our food are metric. For example, a serving of Doritos contains 270 milligrams of sodium rather than an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. When you have to go on blood pressure medication from eating too many Doritos, it's dispensed in milligrams, and your injections might be measured in cc's or cubic centimeters. When was the last time you heard the size of a car engine described in cubic inches? It's been leaders for a long time now. And forget about working on any car without a set of metric tools. When you clean that grease from your hands and you want to unwind as we Americans do by shooting at a few two liter bottles in our backyards, we'll find that our 38 Special is now replaced by a nine millimeter. Even the military has long since gone metric. If something is said to be three clicks away, that is three kilometers. And when they're out in the woods, kind of slinking around, surveilling you in your militia bunker, they're using cameras with 35 millimeter lenses to take pictures of you. A lot of folks say that there are two types of countries on the Earth, those who use metric and those who put a man on the moon. But the truth is NASA has always used the metric system in their calculations. In fact, when an outside contractor's imperial measurements weren't properly converted over to the metric that NASA was using in 1999, 
Years of work and 125 million bucks burnt up in the Martian atmosphere. As a lifetime user of Imperial, or as we call it, the United States customary system, I admit that we're mostly already a metric country and we're becoming more so all the time. Pretty much all we inch lovers have left is our shoe sizes and our thermometers. Even in my workshop, there are metric options on most of my tools. If it weren't for the scale on my table saw, I might be building entire projects in metric and not even have to think about rods and cubits. In fact, I might even try it and see what all the hype is about on my next project. What about you? Would you go metric if the rest of the U.S. does? Do you think we'll ever completely take the leap officially? Leave your opinion in the comments below. I'm going to read all of them because I know from past experience these conversations can get interesting. Want to see something else interesting? This is the CRB7 router jig system from Empower Tools, and it does just about everything with amazing accuracy due to its clever micro adjuster. It's just one of the many product innovations from this small family owned company. You gotta check them out at the link in the notes below this video.